God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. Please stay with me and to our Lord, our precious Lord, to him all the praise, to him all the glory. Please stay with me, a very uh, important message for somebody and also good to know um, how God can move and how God can operate. And we read this again and again in the Old Testament. And um, for God have set day for a sign and a wonder into your life. This message is um, that God can, can um, put a man or a woman in your life. And um, that can, there are many, 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 um, but I want to point one out that there is a prophet and God make this prophet to be a sign and a wonder for and other translations also the word wonder um, God can put uh, to set a man or woman in your life uh, be a wonder and be a sign for you from God and you know and um, there is somebody one day listening and then comes the question what do thou? What are you doing? And um, this question, uh, and I want to read, read it from Ezekiel. Son of man, had not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, set unto thee, what do thou? Already in this um, scripture is speaking about the position of man. So, this is very awesome that the I want to bring it in this way if you if you ask yourself or the other person what does thou in my life then you already have a lack of understanding you have a lack you don't discern what is God willing to invest in your life again if you ask yourself and wondering about yourself what is this woman or this particular man doing in my life I'm <laughs> and if you ask yourself then it's 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 a question that is not that you that you this question is um question it's a long time long long it's 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 captured not one moment it's not an accident this question this question comes from a track record an investment from a woman or a man in your life and you ask yourself what are you doing and what are the reason and yes God have guess God have always a reason to do something and um, first of all, he wants to draw you to Jesus. And that's the question also. If you ask yourself, what are this a holy or a holy woman or man doing in my life? And you cannot find your answer in yourself. Then is already you, uh, is there an answer for yourself by yourself that you are rebellious against God? Otherwise, you can pick this up in your prayer life. Otherwise, you see the benefits from this relationship, from this con contact in your life, and you will reap and you will also reap and to apply the same thing. So, Jesus say, come to me and learn from me. If you, if you, if you, if you see this woman or this man uh, moving in your life, and it is a sign of wonder in, in that God can ask listen <laughs> God can ask this woman or a particular man to do certain things in your life that you're asking by yourself what is this happen nobody 
do, do have this ever done for me or whatsoever questions boiling up in yourself that you think about but this question again the answer is in God and the reason you cannot pick it up God sent somebody to to confront you in with love that this man or woman is coming into your life to showing the love of God and if you don't pick this up if you don't receive this if you don't appreciate this you bring yourself and this also the message uh, you bring yourself in trouble if you are saying you love God you will serve God then you also have to receive your brothers and sisters and to feed them and you need the Holy Spirit and God have has a lot of patience with you so God can put somebody in your life and you, it's 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 with it's 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 a miracle why you are rebellious you will you will put this pe people this person uh, away more than once uh, again again and you will you like to walk on your own way and you receive it and you are uh, you appreciate it yes but later on you if there is other opportunities in life you you say easily goodbye and this particular man or woman uh, doing deeds for you that never have somebody other uh, d did this for you or he gave him um, listen this 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 I want to read also more from this chapter and I want to s let you see what is going on in your life if you are this particular person and God will help you so if you if you receive this message you can turn your ways you can um, to to God will speak to you through this message so you can see what is going on God is showing his mercies to me and if I receive this person and in there are a couple of course um, possibilities what are the purpose from this person but this not this not the point the point is this that you that you uh, can, that God can put a prophet a man of God or a brother or sister into your life and this 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 particular woman or man shows up uh, and behaves here and, and behave the behave the behavior is very special for example this person can give you a present um, and gift and with this gift is <laughs> comes a lot of um, how, how can I call it this gift is very special why you he gives something or she gives something with a message inside and so you ask yourself again to this person what what does do thou what is the meaning from this and if you and if this person is telling you what is the meaning from this present from this gift to you the question is do you do you receive it God is speaking to you in a way that he will give you he will show you love to you he will show his mercies to you he will give you a gift with and with the gift inside the gift um, inside the gift and around the gift is a message for you so you can um, enter into something new from God and if you don't like this you despise this be warned be warned about this be careful for example the prophet Ezekiel uh, in chapter 
37 he go to the Jews with a piece two pieces of wood so you can receive and present two pieces of wood and that gives the message oneness what God will put all the youth together so this man or particular woman come can can come to you with a bag and in this bag and beautiful bag um for example it can be an for you um and this bag this handbag is like let, let me give me this example you are a woman and the man is coming and he want to give you something and in the bag you are surprisingly found a lot of other things it's not for a woman <laughs> and you think and then you ask yourself Ezekiel 12 verse 9 what do thou what do thou what is this and your question is an invitation to uh, to that this man is prophesying and also give you a word of God to you. And let me let me let me get a little bit deeper. In this back, there is your life. Your life is hidden in the back, and God knows everything. Joseph said this to his brothers, and um. <laughs> I want to look if I can find it. It's a beautiful one. Think about this. Your life is in the back. So everything what is found in this back, in this present, represents your heart represent your heart Lia manko flehen da van zakabosa Yes I have found them and just to say unto them what deed is this that you have done? What you not have such a man as I can certainly divine? In other words, God gives something and gifts, and also with this gift is a wisdom by this giver to divine certain things also in your life. So God sent not by by mistake or by accident a, a man or woman into your life. Also, this woman hosting certain knowledge and wisdom that what you need for your own life. This empty, this this vessel of God comes not empty. This vessel hosting certain knowledge and wisdom, what you need to step out circles of your life. Right. So back to the handbag, to the beautiful presents gift from this man. For example, <laughs> this is not a doctrine. This is an example. Inside this bag. And I want to do to to divine it, and I want to point it out so you get more clearance also uh, about um, what God can do for you. And how God can speak to you. 
God can speak in a way you can't, uh, you 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 will easily reject. But God speaks in a way it's very, very clear and speaks very in 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 you. Listen, the reason is God is speaking in this way to you in a gift is you don't longer to want to listen to the word of God. Yes, you listen to the word of God, but you don't want to listen to apply it and to obey it. That's the reason that Ezekiel 12 verse 9 says, Son of man, had not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, say unto thee, What doest thou? So, again, this man is giving you a handbag, a very beautiful one, uh, gold, and inside, inside are your life. And for example, inside are a lot of socks and if you're this woman you think by yourself what is this i'm a woman these socks are not mine yes and that's true it's not yours but you there are many socks in your life <laughs> it's it's a little bit strange for you maybe but this is what it is is So the message is this, there are too many men in your life, you have to remove them. So this life, what is inside your handbag, must away. So there is, there, God will, will fill your life with other things and not with all these men that you love. And I give this example that you get understanding that not all things are by accident. You don't receive by accident certain gifts and this particular gift is with a message if the, the woman asks the man and the man the man uh, uh, reply to her there are too many lovers in your life God have another way for you so this is very clear and I want to read uh, more from uh, Ezekiel so you get more understanding what it means and listen what the Bible teaches us and that's the reason that's the reason that God sent a prophet to a nation. God said, a brother or sister set, uh, set in your life, so you don't longer to uh, up, uh, want to obey the word of God. So um, let me read. The word of the Lord also came unto me, to the prophet Ezekiel, saying, Son of man, <laughs> this is very beautiful, Thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. And re the word rebellious is also in Ezekiel 12 verse 9 uh, mentioned. Which have eyes which have eyes to see and see not. That's here is a key. They have ears to hear and hear not. For they are a rebellious house. Therefore, thou son of man, prepare thy stuff for removing and remove by day in the sight and thou shalt remove for the place to another place in the sight. God gave the prophet a very clear assignment that he must uh, do something in the sight of men. And then you see if you are judging my, already judging my uh, example to giving something to that God can give um, um, God can give you an assignment to give something to another person with a message inside and you judge this already. If you read this with this knowledge, with this teaching and you read the, the prophets, you see that there is many special assignments that God asks many special assignments from the prophets to do, to be a sign of wonder. By reason, they are have a hardened heart and they don't like to hear and they don't want to like to see. They want to do their own thing. And that's the reason that God puts certain people in your life that he wants to show his affection, his love to you. And if you bring yourself in a place that you reject these people again, 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 God will <laughs> draw you in a place that you will suffer to bring you to repentance. 
this also in this chapter and also in other chapters of the prophet Ezekiel right I want to round it up that the Lord will give you understanding and bless you and keep you and thanks for listening and please share 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 and like my message thank you God bless you